Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Friday the 20th of August 2021. We're in the bedroom because they're a bit quiet at the moment, the people who are restoring the house over there. Um, and the girls are on the bed. Hi lady. So Val's having a wash. Hello sweetheart, she wants to say hello. Hopefully she's going to keep it clean, aren't you sweetheart? And then behind her, I think you can just about see Leia. Um, oh, here we go. She's going to sit down. Layers asleep. Okay. She always does that. As soon as we get into the video, she's like, now's my moment. Here's the money shot. Up goes the leg. Ah, okay. Let's have 1,144 interesting and fun facts that you need to know. Hopefully I've told you it's Friday the 20th of August. Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh my God. Over 50% of all lottery tickets sold are bought by only 5% of people who buy lottery tickets. That's like one of those maths things they used to give you at school. Do you remember when they used to go, John boards a train. If he goes backwards for five hours or something and forwards three centimetres, what did he have for tea? You know, and you'd be like, well, that was always my face in maths. Okay. Flamingos are born grey, but we know this. We know this one because on this channel we love a flamingo. But change to the pink colour we see because of the shrimp they eat that dyes their feathers. I thought it had something to do with the rocks that they go on as well. Leave me a comment in the comment section. One of you will know. Just going to move my sparkly cloth. A false awakening is the term used for a vivid or convincing dream about awakening from sleep when in reality you're still sleeping. I had those when I was younger. Oh, if you're in a bad nightmare and then you wake up and you're in a nightmare within a nightmare. Yeesh, yeesh. A group of zebras is called a zeal. That's nice. That is nice. Here we go, Val. Here's one for you, sweetheart. Yes. The savannah is the largest domestic breed of cat which resembles a small leopard but behaves like a dog. They can grow up to 40 pounds, 18 kilograms and have an eight foot vertical jump and be trained to walk on a leash and play fetch. Valentine, Leia, that's a lot to live up to sweet pants. Have you noticed as well, you probably can't tell but Valentine wouldn't let me put the cover on the bed properly so it's all a bit it's all a bit skew whiff right we're going to have tower of the 78 doors again because i feel like it let's see will vd granny make an appearance what do we need to know it's friday we need reversals we barely need reversals when we're using the tarot of the 78 doors do we we all secretly brace ourselves Whew. i spoke too soon <laughs> hello voodoo granny <laughs> okay cripes not too bad I know we've had a cripes but we haven't had a woof yet have we Whew. okay well let's kick off with VD vaping granny shall we <laughs> just imagine it now with some big vape thing <laughs> VD vape granny there she is that is sinister, isn't it? Even the rocking chairs kind of. <coughs> and the Three of Swords has this reputation, doesn't it? It has a reputation of being um, negative. I'm just looking for the smelly book. Here we go. Because we can do the smelly book because we're upstairs. The Tarot Handbook, Arius Arian. Because I have a feeling, I'm going to guess it. I think it's moon in Libra is the aspect. Could be completely wrong. Oh, we've got people in the street. 
I think it's workmen. They tend to spit a lot in the mornings. Absolutely disgusting. Okay, Saturn in Libra. Yes. This is very important. It's a symbol of triangular relationships. And we know that. I say that a lot in the love readings. But also something to be resolved between three people. But also a need to release a pattern in a step-by-step -step balancing process. That was the bit that I remembered and wanted to get to. We always talk about the... Well, not always. We're always talking about the dialectic. This feeling that something comes in, something goes against it, and then there is some kind of synthesis from it. Okay, we have a thesis, an antithesis, and then a synthesis, and then the next thing. A problem, another problem, a solution. A problem, another problem, a solution. It's life, isn't it? It's how we work things out. This feels more like we're working things out than going on the old voodoo. It doesn't feel as difficult as it looks to me, okay? We've got some quite nice supporting cast here. We've got two kings, which is, well, no, we've got three kings. Starting to sound like a song. Okay, king of swords, who could be the son of voodoo granny because he's really a bit cold looking, isn't he? Yeah. Maybe like he put voodoo granny, granny into a nursing home and he's visiting, I don't know. It feels a bit like that. It feels a bit difficult like that. It feels a bit like an unrepaired relationship. Do you know what I mean? So maybe we are dealing with an unrepaired relationship, a broken relationship or a relationship that was detached um, for some of us. Could be family. It feels family-ish to me. It feels long-term rather than someone you've known a short while. And what do you know? <laughs> what do you know? The Emperor. Now very often when I get the Emperor showing up in a reading I look to the father because he is the father of the tarot but also in some readings you just get this kick up the spiritual backside that says to you look at the dad, look at the father, look at the relationship there, look at father and father's mother is what I'm getting and we don't normally get this on a daily tarot so it's a bit weird but it's what I'm getting okay it's interesting along with that we've got two more kings we've got the king of wands warm generous a bit overbearing good fun good sense of humor with the king of cups emotional um, can be a bit without boundaries, but you know, a very, um, a key emotional connect person. So you could be dealing with a masculine energy that you're trying to resolve a relationship with, be it father or someone else, who is like, when we, remember when we talked about with the um, Three of Swords, it's a triangular relationship, and this could be a person who is a triangle themselves. In other words, they are the King of Swords, they are the King of Cups, they are the King of Wands, and they present differently at different times. It feels like quite a fractured personality. Down here, and I have to say, I wasn't doing reversals today, but this one put itself back into reverse and I'm like, all righty, all righty. Judgment in reverse. The reversal of a judgment, literally, but also when you get judgment, when you get judgment at all, something comes back from the past for another go, for another look, for another do-over, whatever it is, itchy nose. When it's in reverse, it's stuck and it's blocked and you still need to do that do-over, but at the same time, you could be operating in a cycle of old stuff. And sometimes that old stuff just needs to be identified, acknowledged and felt, okay? This is quite a heavy reading, isn't it? Four of Pentacles. Now this time with the Four of Pentacles, I'm getting don't keep it all in the bank. Don't keep it all to yourself if it's about emotions. This is, it's not about, you know, doing what my mum calls chucking a blub. It's not about chucking a blub, but it is about not just saying, I'm okay. You know, that whole, I'm okay, when you're not okay. Temperance 
playing with the energies, finding something to be playful for or with, okay? Playing with the energies. Oof. Oh, this is nice. The oracle card we get is exchanging gifts. When you get exchanging gifts, there is reciprocity. So there is reciprocity in this exchange with whoever this is. They need to give a little, you need to give a little. They probably already took quite a lot <laughs> is the message that I'm getting, but there needs to be give and take on both sides. Where is it? What do I want? Yes, wisdom of the hidden realms. Let's do a big girl shuffle on this. We have less table up here because it's a smaller table. Just looking at the delivery van outside. They're electric now, so it's really hard to hear them. They're like right next to you in the street and you're thinking, oh, and a massive feather, massive white feather. Oh, and it's doing that thing where it tumbles down to the ground. Yeah. The resting tree, patience and stillness always good to feel like that if you can there is a high potential of hurt feelings in this situation but i think they've already been hurt it's not new okay it's a working through of a dialectic leave me a comment let me know how it resonates we'll leave the girls sleeping and i'll see you tomorrow namaste